Yo, what's going on guys? Reversal here and today I'm going to be doing a combo video for my Go Second Dino deck. Uh, just for the instances where you go first and kind of what you do when you're comboing going second also. Um, just figured I'd make one of these since a lot of people are picking up the deck uh, that are new to it because of Wild Survivors. So um, a lot of people might not know how the deck works at a basic level. So I figured I'd put it all in one place to make it a little easier to, to learn. Um, if you like this kind of video, uh, let me know, and uh, be sure to sub to stay updated with uh, more videos like this. I'm going to be doing another combo video in a few weeks when uh, Duelist Nexus comes out, since uh, the Evils are rank 6, Raz is pretty good, and a lot of the combos, uh, if you're going to play that, change to incorporate it, so um, yeah, be on the lookout for that in a few weeks. Um, I'm going to start off just showing like the regular 2 card which can be uh, like Ovi Baby, uh, Ovi Misk, Misk Baby, uh, Misk Petite, uh, Archosaur Baby, Archosaur Petite. Pretty much any of these uh, works. The only ones that are different are Ovi Petite and Ovi Lost World because you're one body short of doing this regular combo. Um, which I'll, I'll show that after, but we'll just start off with the two card, uh, just the basic one. So you're gonna start off with your OV and search a misc, activate misc, activate misc again to banish for one, summon Archosaur, pop the baby, search your pill, baby's gonna trigger, summon petite, OV's gonna pop the petite, bring back the baby, the petite and gray is gonna trigger to summon your Rex. And then from here, we're gonna link off our Archosaur into a Link Karibo. And then you're going to use these two, which are Earths, to go into the G-Golem, Stub, and Meneer. Um, if you watch my deck profiles, you've seen this card many times. Um, and then you're going to use these two side verses to go into the other G-Golem, uh, which is Crystal Heart. And this lets you summon an Earth Link from your grave. And then you're going to summon this. And then when this is summoned, you get to summon an Earth and negate its effects. And banish it when it leaves the field, or you can add it to your hand. So when you're going first, you want to add back the petite to hand typically, just to give you an avenue to follow up. Um, and it can also be an extra disruption, so you don't really lose anything from not summoning the other card. And then going second, something that can come up uh, with with this card, uh, it actually has an effect that gives um, monsters that it's pointing to um, piercing damage, and they can also make second a attacks. So that's pretty cool. Uh, it's only Earth Monsters, by the way, but it's pretty cool with this sometimes with a Lost World token. Because you could just beat it twice and then it does a lot of damage, obviously. And then if you have Duke Ars pumping this up, you can make it even bigger. But for the most part, that doesn't really come up, but it can. Um, so here, you're going to use these two to go into a Link 3 or 4. Uh, you have a couple options. You can go into Appaloosa with two counters. Which is usually what I end up going for, just to get a few extra disruptions. Um, if you want to get some draws, you can go into Heat Soul. If you want to go into Unchained Abomination, if you're facing like a trap deck or something, maybe. Um, another option, which was brought up in the Dino Discord, is uh, the Sun Avalon Link 4. Which lets you search the Sun Avalon Bloom, the trap card. Which is like a funny thing you can do, is like side the trap. Just to give you like something through Dark Ruler. I don't think it's probably worth playing, but it's kind of funny, so. Um, mainly just because, like, I feel like siding cards that require you to, to full combo isn't, like, the best thing, since it only works, like, for the good combos, and you have to obviously, like, not get disrupted, so. The combos where you get, like, ashed and play through it, or if you have, like, a suboptimal combo, like Obi Lost World, your body's short, and you'd have to, like pill for paint and use it as material and try that, but I don't even think that would work, so. Um, so yeah, I, I don't like those type of uh, side end cards personally, but. Um, so then, say you're going to Appaloosa, uh, use your pill, your Rex will come back, uh, you're gonna summon Conductor, then you just make a rank four here, which is usually gonna be Lagia to go with your monster negates. 
it's like triple tactics are really good versus this um stuff like that so this is like a basic end board um just off the regular two cards uh, when you choose to go first it's a decent amount of disruptions uh, assuming they don't dark early you and you get to use this this can get you follow up because when you conduct or flip their board you pop this you can either summon a pank if you need disruptions or you can summon ov and ov will search you conductor number two so it's pretty good uh like just basic uh combo you can go into without adding like extra bricks like scraps and stuff to your deck which is really nice um so when you're going second uh and you get to this point um what you can do is these two can just be an access code uh for 4300 attack and you'll have a few a few pops so then when you pale your rex is going to come back and then you could just get here make a rank four make laggy or dolka uh or whatever uh, based on your opponent's board to help you in the game um if you need to you can also climb into the access code through uh the nightmare unicorn just to get it the extra um thousand attack and maybe you need the spin for something um it's, it's the same thing though but you don't have to do that for the most part um so now show a suboptimal combo as OV and Lost World. Um, playing a card like Kashtar Fenrir is nice to help uh, kind of weave this into a normal combo if you happen to like open these two and Fenrir. But for this, I'm just going to show uh, if you're lacking that extra body. Uh, so you want to start off with your Lost World, summon OV. OV is going to be chain link one, Lost World is going to be chain link two. Uh, you're going to search a misc, and you're going to give them a Lost World token. Uh, you're going to activate your misc, and while this is engraved, uh, now you can activate Ovi's effect since you have a dino engraved. Activate Ovi, target the token, Lost World, protect the token. Uh, that's going to send a baby, trigger the baby to summon another baby, and now you have a baby for misc to banish for one. Get you your archosaur to pop this baby. Trigger, search, pill, baby, summon Rex. Uh, so as you can see, compared to the last combo, you don't have an extra baby on field at this point. So you're kind of forced to do a lot less. Which is why I don't really like this version of the deck as like a blind first list. Um, I think when Rouse comes out, uh, this type of stuff gets a lot better since you don't have to rely on the G Golems to kind of get you um, that extra board presence. And you don't have to play like a, you just have to play the one vanilla, which isn't great, but it is what it is. Uh, but for right now, I don't think the vanilla has any value personally. Um, so you get to this point. Um, if there was a good link to go into, you could link these two off. But as of right now, I don't really think there's anything that's like truly worth making. So you don't even really have to bother with that. You could just go straight into your um, your Dolka and then just link this off for uh, the Secure Gardener. And then activate your pill, summon the conductor. So this is just the basic OV Lost World and the same thing for OV plus Petite pretty much. Um, going second if you have to do something like this, like it's fine because you really just need to get to conductor plus anything else because conductor is going to wipe the board. And then just this plus something else is usually enough to stop the follow up. So. That's what you basically want to aim for with the deck going second, but this is what you have to settle for going first. Uh, if you do open a suboptimal combo, so I mean it is what it is. Like I said, when uh when the Raz comes out, that's this can get a little bit better, which is cool. But um, sucks that we don't have a good link to go into, so you can't make use of the uh, the Rex Spanish.
to get like the extra value, but uh, that's fine. Uh, so that's the suboptimal combo. Now I can show you some stuff with the new cards. We'll do Ground Zeno and Baby. Um, there's a lot of different ways you can play out this combo. I'm going to show how I personally like playing it out because it's the safest. Um, so you're going to start off with your Ground Zeno. Uh, search for the Zeno Meteoris. Pop your baby. Uh, your baby's going to trigger Engrave as chain link 1 and Zeno is going to be chain link 2. So with the baby, we're going to just summon a Misk straight from deck. Um, when you're going second, you might want to summon an Ovi here and search for uh, Misk potentially because if like this is all you have going second and like say you turned off like their board and they have some back row or something if you go this route and they hit you with like a book of moon or an enemy controller or just anything that takes one of these off field you're kind of stuck at that point so if there's some back row that you're scared of you might want to consider going into ov um just to give you maybe a chance to do something but i, I feel like you're kind of stuck regardless but this is something to keep in mind. But for the most part, I just like going straight into Misk because that gives you a level 6 tuner in the Xeno to go with the level 4 non-tuner. And you can just make Baron straight away. Uh, so what you can do here is Misk for 2, banishing the Xeno. Uh, this is going to summon you a baby from deck. And then you can use Baron's effect to pop the baby. Uh, the baby in Grave is going to trigger... Get you your Ovi, and then uh, your Ovi's going to trigger, search you another baby. Uh, you haven't normal summoned yet, so you can normal summon your baby here. Ovi, pop baby, summon baby, baby and grave trigger. Here you can bring out your Archosaur, pop the baby, search a pill, summon Rex from deck. So again, we don't really have a good link to go into, sadly. So you're just gonna make your rank four, Lagia or Doka typically. Since you already have the spell trap negate here, you might want to just get the extra monster negates. Um, link, Karibo, Karibo for secure. Activate your pill, these two, and summon your conductor. Um, so, as you noticed, Baron was the third summon. So, if they don't ask your ground Xeno, you play through everything at that point. Um, if you summon anything other than Misk at that point, you can get hit by Imperm on the Obi that you summon, uh, for example. Which would be pretty bad, because you'd have to end on Baron Pass, which, I mean, it's not... At least it's something, but it's not good. Um, but right now, like, when you're not playing the vanilla, especially... I think it's just better to just go straight into bear and to avoid all that because like this is a lot of disruptions in itself and then if you happen to need the baron negate on your turn on uh, the standby phase you can tag this out which is pretty cool um if it gets back to your turn especially because as of right now you don't have anything good to tag out into as in terms of um like immediate follow-up but if you do use it in their standby you can summon one of the babies to give you something to pop with this, so when you pop this, um, you get an Ovi, and then search your follow-up. And one of these babies should be a petite, by the way, just for this exact reason. Um, I just used babies, just it was easier. But, uh, that, sec that first uh, baby that you cycle through, that, needs that can summon the Rex, should be the... Uh, petite. Uh, so that's ground and baby. Uh, so now I can show what happens when you open like a three card combo. Um, this is one that works. Uh, OV Lost World. I can find it. And Misk is another one that works. Um, do you have Ground Zeno with any OV2 card combo? With, like if you have OV or Archosaur 
or misc like any of these three plus a baby uh plus the xeno because like if you start with the the ground xeno like since i showed you you go into baron right away so if they don't ash this you're protected from ash anyway so if you use this and they ash it um and you have any combination of these three plus this you just get the full combo for free so i'm not gonna go into that more but uh, we'll just do, we'll start off with these ones. Um, so right here, you want to start with the, the misc. So if they ash here, you still have uh, this to play with. If you do it in the opposite uh, thing, like this, then you uh, pop the baby, search your pill. If they activate ash here, you're kind of just stuck on UCT pass. So you don't really want that to happen. Uh, so we're gonna start with the misc, they ash you. Then you go Archosaur, pop the baby. Search, baby effect. Go into Ovi. Now since you're already normal summoned, you don't want to add anything here since you won't get any like value from it. Uh, so you can just dump the Rex. And you're gonna link this off for Link Rebo, Link Rebo Secure Gardener, activate your pill for Rex and Link Rebo. Uh, the Rex is gonna come back. You're gonna summon your conductor from deck, and you can overlay into Lagia or Dolka, depending on what you're playing. So uh, through Ash, you can get here, which is, which is pretty good, considering Ash is usually a big issue. Um, then I'll show the other three card too. Um, should be these two and Lost World. Um, so this one, you want to start off with Lost World. Uh, activate OV Chain Link 1, Lost World Chain Link 2, give them the token. And here you're going to search a baby. Uh, you want to put your Misk in Grave, but don't use it yet. Because if you use this right now and get Ashed, uh, you already used your normal, so you're just stuck here and you can't do anything. So you want to leave this in Grave, which is going to let you use your OV effect since you have a Dino Grave now. Uh, attempt to pop the token, Lost War, protect it, dump a baby. So they can either Ash the baby here, and then you'll have the Misk to go into Archisaur or pop this baby, which would be fine. And if they don't Ash it, you just summon the Archisaur here. Pop this baby, and then you're chilling. So we can pretend that uh, they ashed uh, the mist because that's what people usually hold it for. So the baby goes through, activate this, pop this, search pill, baby effect. Uh, so I'm on your Rex here. So, like I said. You don't even need this at this point. So if they, for example, ash the first baby you used, you would just use the misc and get to the same point anyway. And then we're just gonna do the same thing as we did before. Link Karibo, Secure Gardener. Uh, Dolka, or Lagia. Uh, Bill. These two. Doctor. Um, typically, like, go for Doka if you want to respect Nibiru, obviously. Uh, that should go without saying, but... If uh, Laggy is a lot better in a matchup, you can go for that. Nib's not super popular right now. And... Nib, like... You still get this through Nib and other combos. But it really just forces their battle phase more than anything. So it's not like that great, but it's something. Uh, the combos with the new rank 6 and Duelist Nexus, that can actually make uh, Dolka before you commit a non-dino, which is really cool. Um, so yeah, that's the basic two cards. That's like three card combos when you get Ashed. Um, 
stuff like imperm, like I said, ground plus baby. If you go straight into bear, imperm doesn't matter. Uh, if you have any hand with misc, imperm doesn't matter. If you don't have it and you have like a two card, like if you have like the OB baby and no misc and you get imperm here, like that sucks and you can't do anything about that, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Uh, one more combo I can show off, I guess, is like a funny combo with Dark Hole. Uh, this works with either two babies or if you have Lost World and a baby. Um, it doesn't really matter which one, but uh, I can show the Lost World one. This one actually, this combo here is actually really nice for playing through an Ash too, which is cool. Um, we'll do Lost World, Normal Summon the baby, give them a token. Uh, now you're going to use your Dark Hole. So Dark Hole is going to destroy this baby, and you're going to protect this token with this Lost World to dump another baby. Um, that could be Petite. So your baby and your Petite are going to trigger here. You're gonna summon an Ovi Raptor, and you're gonna summon another baby. Uh, you're gonna use your Ovi, search for Misk, activate your Misk, activate Misk again. Uh, I'm not doing that yet. Summon your Archosaur from deck, pop the baby, search your pill, baby in grave, summon Rex, and then just same spot that you get to in all the other inferior combos. Oh, you've seen this. My Garibo. Scare card now. Take a pill. These two. There's just another funny interaction with Dark Hole uh, when you're going first, or when you're going second, that can come up as well. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty much all the different like basic combos uh, to get you to this point through disruptions most of the time when you do open those hands. And then when stuff does go as planned, uh, showed you the, the G Golden board to go into a Link 4 like Appaloosa or Heat Soul, whatever, with the Petite in hand for going first, and then when you're going second, um, you can use the G-Golems to link line to access code and stuff uh, to help you pop stuff, end games quicker. Uh, that comes up mostly in main phase too. Like, say you need to use your battle phase to combo off through Lost World, or if you have to, like, go battle phase with Pink or anything along those lines. Um, having the option to... Or, uh, link climb to the point where you get an access code with three pops in main phase two, plus you still get conductor Dolka. Um, it really helps to clean up boards in main phase two with this and still end on several disruptions to stop uh, their crackback, uh, which is why I really like the G Golems. Uh, they're, they're super good for going second decks, uh, versions of this deck. And they're there also for when you do choose to go first or when they make you go first, just to give you a little bit uh, higher ceiling. Because if you don't play the G Golems, you're just playing like a regular, like pure dino deck with no extra cards. Um, this is like, this is your ceiling pretty much um, at this point. So the fact that you can get this through disruptions um, is like, they, like, what's the point of playing like not playing the G Golems to give you that extra boost at that point. Cause they help you going first, they help you going second. Uh, they're just really nice for the deck. Uh, so yeah, that's about it. Like I said, in a couple weeks, uh, I think D Duelist Nexus comes out in like three weeks. So uh, whenever I get my hands on a Raz, I'll make a video for that. Um, been doing a lot of labbing with co those combos uh, the last couple of days. They're pretty simple, but they're, they're very effective. Um, Besides the obvious flaw of all of these boards, um, having a Dark Ruler problem. But that kind of is what it is. Like I said, this is... I play the deck going second, so... I don't really, like, want to go first with it, since it does have these inherent issues with Dark Ruler, with sometimes being fragile. Uh, when you go first and only have five cards as opposed to six, you brick a lot more often. 
um, unless you start playing like a lot of extra like engine pieces like extra petites and stuff along those lines uh, you do brick a decent amount with this deck unfortunately even with prosperity even with ground xeno so i mean it kind of is what it is if unless you want to basically make it so your deck is a dice roll deck and you don't play like any utility going second cards you kind of have to just deal with that um so yeah that's about it hopefully you found uh this helpful to kind of learn the basics of how the deck functions um like i said sub to keep up with uh the videos uh, i make a lot of deck profiles having to do a dyno uh to kind of tailor it to how the format shaping up and try to do these combo videos to help people out since i know uh a lot of people learn better from like just seeing uh seeing the cards and having it explained throughout as opposed to just like a db replay just kind of going i know it's a lot easier for me to kind of do that as well so i uh, hope you enjoyed i guess uh let me know if it's helpful and sub uh that's about it take care peace